All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking about real music in real time for real people just like you right there and just like me here. Um, Deacon Fry takes lead vocals, which is great on the band's uh, new rendition of Take It Easy. That's the very first Eagle song that was released as a single. And, of course, sung by his late father, Glenn Fry, co-written by Jackson Brown. Uh, Jackson Brown made an attempt at this song and uh, didn't do so well. That was a tribute uh, to Deacon's dad. I think at one point he even stumbled through some lyrics, some of those lyrics he had originally written, which was kind of embarrassing. Needless to say, this uh, Live at the Forum project... Um, I mean, if honestly, if you're going to buy authentic Eagles live material, you have a lot of things to choose from. Obviously, I would go back to the first Eagles live record, which was, um, I believe, released right around 1980, um, partly because I think the record label wanted another album. And if uh, I do recall, they actually released... Seven Bridges Road as a single, which is a great harmony track, not written by the Eagles. I think it's Steve Young who actually wrote the song. But um, getting back to this particular version, I like Deacon Fry. I like the way he sings. Uh, he is not a dead ringer for his father, vocally speaking. In fact, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Deacon Fry has a bit more of a soulful, raspy kind of voice compared to his dad. I liken him to Devin Allman, who is um, doing the same kind of thing, carrying on the legacy of his late father, Greg Allman, in this amazing band called the Allman Betts Band. If you haven't heard any of their stuff, uh, please check them out. Uh, of course, they have been basically blackballed and censored from rock stations and so forth because rock isn't sophisticated enough anymore to allow for a band. And, you know, that's my best take on this ever. Rock is not sophisticated enough anymore to have a band like Almond Betts on their playlist. Uh, as far as the live version from the forum here, um, I'd give it maybe an 8 out of 10. I really did enjoy uh, the guitar work toward the end of it, which is surprising since I'm not a big uh, Stuart Smith fan, but I think he does a nice job extending the song out a bit. The song has a decent groove going, and then toward the end it um, really chugs along nicely, and you get that extra guitar work, which adds something a little bit new and different. I think if you're just trying to replicate what the band has done on previous live albums, which is obviously to be as close to the song as they possibly can be, uh, some people like that, others, especially those who want to see a little improvisation going on, they feel as though the band plays it too close to the original record, uh, but most casual fans appreciate that. Uh, your music aficionados, the people that go to hear somebody um, shred their guitar or uh, maybe improvise a bit on the drums, you know, those people are the ones that might enjoy this particular version a little more maybe than the original. But I would still hold to the idea that the original Eagles live album is probably the best place to get music like this. Uh, the band in their prime, uh, as well as Deacon does at this. there's, It's just really hard to replace his father. I am happy, though, that Vince Gill wasn't singing lead on this track. I can't understand on certain songs why they don't let Deacon sing, you know, like they should have Deacon sing all of his uh, dad's parts because that's the way it ought to, you know, that's the way it should be. But, um... You know, I think part of it is to take some of the pressure off of him, and Vince Gill is an old pro and so forth. Uh, although I think what they ought to do <laughs> is let is let Tim Schmidt 
take a break and have Vince Gill sing I Can't Tell You Why. Because it would be kind of like having Tim Schmidt sing it. So it's, again, I just was always kind of dumbfounded that they replaced Glenn Fry with a guy who sounds like Tim Schmidt who can play really good acoustic guitar and other styles of guitar as well. I mean, uh, Vince Gill is a fine musician, and I think that's why he was brought in. Of course, you get name ID, you get that band merger concept, which apparently is a big deal now. As people get older, they just recognize brands and names, and they say, yeah, Eagles with Vince Gill. It sounds like, you know, Clorox with extra bleach fighting ingredients. Yeah, I'm totally into that brand. Great idea, um, Irving Azoff. By the way, again, if you haven't checked out the Almond Bats band, you really should. Devin Almond and um, the gentleman is uh, Dwayne Betts. Dwayne Betts is the son of Dickie Betts. And uh, this is like next generation fantastic. So check that out. And yes, check out Take It Easy. It's a, it's a good version. And, you know, while you're comparing, you know, A versus B, it's something for you to do these days since uh, I don't think the Eagles will be out on the road anytime soon. All right, I'm done with this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want a notification. And yes, I am on Patreon, so you can help. You can help finance the channel. Um, you can keep me um, solvent, financially speaking. A dollar a month is all I ask, which is cheaper than what PBS normally does during their fundraiser. Uh, no, I don't have these trinkets or gifts I can send you, but... For a dollar a month, we can talk about music. You can um, even come up with ideas for videos and stuff like that. That could be interesting for both you and I. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.